I've been neglecting my YouTube account, which is just inconsiderate of me. So I'm going to give you a brief lowdown on what I've been up to. Um, first thing, I passed my MSA and I got my learner's motorcycle license. So now I can scoot all I want. I went to Vancouver um, this past weekend and I saw The Lion King. The Broadway show of The Lion King was in Vancouver. And it was amazing. And I kind of just wanted to take Rafiki home with me because she was. And we also saw the Festival of Lights. Um, Spain had their fireworks show on. We waited four and a half hours in English Bay and had a really nice spot. It was like 30,000 people or something down there. So it was pretty cool. Um, what else did I do? I walked around a lot and I saw some pals. I went to a couple clubs and I went to the art gallery. Vancouver Art Gallery has a um ooh, my light is flickering. Anyways, has an exhibit um called The Modern Woman. And it was awesome. And my favorite piece was um, I can't remember the guy's name. I know what it is. It was by, I don't know if it's Pissarro or Pissarro. I don't know. But it was just, um, a market. And it was all, like, quickly drawn with ink. And there's, like, blue shading and stuff like that. And I stared at it for, like, 20 minutes because it was so detailed. Like, it looked like it was something you just threw down on the paper. But it was so detailed, and I was just staring at it forever. It was like this big, like not, not huge at all, and I was like, the whole time. So, that was awesome. And then on the third floor, I can't remember what the artist's name is, but it was in like all the war art stuff. And it was his own separate room, and his art's all really like, like violent. Not violent things happening, but it's like all like paint like thrown down and anyways so we walk into this room and the first thing I see is this painting of like a dog with a gas mask on and it was like ah like all intense and an alarm started going off in like the room next to us so I'm standing in this room looking at this crazy art and and this alarm's like Meh! and I almost freaked out I almost freaked out it was too much for my senses so I left the room and look at some Emily Carr. And I don't really like Emily Carr, so it was my group. I went to Playland Saturday morning and went on all the rides with Evan. And then there's this thing called the Revelation, and it's basically like let's use this as an example. This is the arm. There's like a a pivot point here, grounding it. And there's two seats here and two seats here. And it just spins. But it's pretty, pretty tall. Um, about as tall as a sizable building. I. quite tall. Quite tall. Multiple. I don't know, I don't know how many floors to say it would be. Like 30, 30 floors? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, Evan and I had looked at videos of it, and we were like, oh, I can't go on that, that's so scary. And we went on every other ride, and they had the special hourly rate, because you pay extra for it, it's usually like 30 bucks, and they had two for 21.50. So we went, yeah, I think I can do that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're standing in line, and Evan's just like, no, I'm not even going to scream, and I was like, yeah, no. It's cool, yeah. We screamed like little tiny girls. But it was a lot of fun. And I felt like Pocahontas just swan diving for the earth. It was great. So other than that, um I'm back now looking. Um last night my friend James, he used to live at his grandparents' house, which is like right by my house. 
and then he moved to Rutland with his boyfriend, and I was like, because <laughs> I never see him, but now I have my license, so I can see him, but he just moved back in with his grandparents, and his boyfriend are living in the basement suite of their house. So I went to his house, because they were moving in, and I was like, oh my god, housewarming party, except I was really tired. But James gave me this shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's the Flash. It's super awesome. And then I came home. And that's my life right now. My four second or not my four frame stop frame video that I was talking about is it's coming along. I've I haven't been doing video blogs, but I've been working on that. It's very tedious. Um chopping up the pictures into four separate frames and making all these short stop frames with it. It's it's very tedious and time consuming, but it's really cool and my friend Jeff he did some music for it and it's awesome. Um he has a YouTube channel. It's Arachtimus Prime Arachtimus Prime. I'll have a little like doohickey. I don't really know how to do them, but if you see something here means I figured it out. Yeah, so he did music for it. And it's awesome. Um, I have about five rolls of film worth of pictures in there. And it's only 40 seconds long right now. And the song is a little over a minute long. So a couple more rolls of film and it'll be done. And up here. I really like it. it it's just me. Just me. I don't know if it, it'll be more interesting for me because I have a lot of memories with all the pictures like running around and stuff. Uh, whatever. And I shot a bunch of footage when I was in Vancouver for my other thing that's just footage of stuff. So well, one of these days I'll just develop. up. And in the meantime I should probably just still do my video blogs because I went, I think it was like a week, oh, two weeks, a week and a half. I don't even know about doing a video blog. Just rude, just rude, fruity tooty, fresh and fruity. So I'm gonna go. Have a good day. Bye.